Ringo, you know, Charlie Watts, Cozy Powell, Ian Pace, just those 60s guys, you know, the, the British rock guys, you know, the, um, and Ringo is a sort of always a special, a special kind of a dude. You know, so. <clears throat> yeah, Cozy just, Powell. Cozy Powell, he was great, mate. He was Amazing. Great. Oh, he was great. Yeah, he was great. He had he had that really great attitude, Cozy. You know, really, really great. <clears throat> so, what is it for you on the drums? Are you are you sitting around? You see the Beatles on Ed Sullivan? Is it that like everybody else on the planet back then? No, I heard Tim Soldier. I mean, that, that's, that was that was probably the start of the whole thing for me. I think I heard. Um, Steve Marriott, Steve Marriott, and the boys, you know, they uh, cranked it up pretty good. And that, that kind of, that, that's what really motivated me, you know. That, just love the way that song starts, you know. So. And so, was it drums right away, or did you want to be a singer, or guitar, or bass, or anything, or was it drums? It was drums, yeah. I wanted to leap into that, whatever that Steve Marriott thing was, you know, it started, it started Tin Soldier. I just wanted to get in there, you know. So it was, it was great. It's a great feel at the start of that track. It's, it's a great track that one, Tin Soldier. You know, so. so what do you do? Do you do you ask your parents for a drum kit? Do you get a job? You go out and search one out. How does this happen? Well, I had to get a job, and um, and they, the, the old man signed up for me so I could buy a kit. And, uh, so and I was all away from there. It was pretty good. <laughs> yeah yes it's funny to think about Ringo Starr because he's so underrated right oh, it's just the feel mate you know it's the feel we see him playing with Carl Perkins and Eric Clapton on that uh, Carl Perkins birthday birthday show they did oh he's just mate he's just hot he's just on it you know okay I show that to people you know if you don't you don't get it you know I say well you know listen to this and they go, oh, yeah, right, yeah, shit, you know, right, because he really has got something happening, Ringo. You know, he really has got something, something extra special going on. You know, and Charlie Watts. I mean, Charlie Watts. I always say there's three bands to me that without the drummers, they just are not what they are. Zeppelin with Bonzo, ACDC with Phil Rudd. <laughs> and uh, Charlie Watts with the Stones. I mean, those three, and they all three are totally different. Yeah, well, you know, it's, um, it's, just, it's just how you go up, you know. <clears throat> we're all, we're all, we all come from a sort of organic place and, you know, and the, whatever grows on us, you know, sort of grows on us as we go along. You know, but, um, how long uh, until you get into a band, once you get your drums, how long till you get into Buster Brown? Is it pretty fast or are you taking lessons? How does this happen? Um, uh, <clears throat> I was, could I, well, it was only a couple of years, a couple of years, I think, of some before I joined Buster Brown. That don't, don't last for a small, small couple of years. And then, uh, um, and then you know, I fell into ACDC. And... <laughs> what, what, what a life, man. You're like, yeah, I think I'll pick up drums, play a couple of years, and then join this band, and we'll become the biggest band in the world in about 15 years. That is wild. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know that, you know, if the guys knew where they were going. I wasn't, I wasn't really sure what I was doing, but they, you know, Angus and I, they, they knew where they were going. You know? but, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. You know, I just, I was just kind of there, you know, and I just try to keep up. <laughs> so, Do you, you remember what brand that first kit was? Uh, the first kit was a lovely a Ringo kit that I bought because uh, I had a, an old Premier kit that I painted a few times. And, uh, so um, I had a lovely kit and then a, a Slingerland kit that was my first sponsored kit. And I got, then I got hooked up with Sonor and, um, um, because they, they make such fantastic hardware. Um, you know, I've never been able to go to anyone else since. And, uh, I mean, you are the sonar guy. That's just all there is to it. I mean, when I think of Phil Rudd, I think of straight up sonar, you know? Well, yeah, well, you can't, you know, I, I, when I think of doing a gig, I think of sonar too, mate, you know? I mean, that's, 
nothing else. You know, it's, everything else falls to bits under you. you know? I mean, there's a lot of hard hitting guys around, but I don't know. You know, it's, um, I've seen it go through a lot of equipment. <laughs> 